What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, for those of you guys who do not know, my name is uh, Cody and this YouTube channel is devoted to making you better at Madden NFL 16. We do that through a variety of videos, but today we're going to be showing you a little Madden 16 tip and also talking about some information for our YouTube channel. Uh, first, I got some big news I want to announce is that we're going to be releasing our third ebook and we're going to be releasing that on Christmas Day and, uh, and the ebook is going to discuss the St. Louis Rams offensive playbook and I haven't really decided uh, what defensive playbook I'm going to use. I'm considering Oakland, Oakland Raiders defensive playbook but uh, I still have a couple of other things that I want to discuss as well. Um, but we're going to take a little bit of a different approach with this final ebook of the season. What we're going to focus on is uh, we've, we've talked a lot about depth and having plays and what I really want to focus on now is, is is different situations and different things that you can utilize these plays for. So we're going to have our basic template uh, for the guide where we give you play setups and all that stuff to give you pressure from left and right and all that stuff and you know man beaters and zone beaters and things. But we're also going to spend a ton of time in this next ebook talking about uh, systematic formulas and how, uh, as an offense, we're able to systematically uh, move the football down the field with consistency. In my opinion, consistency is the number one difference between Madden and the NFL. Uh, in the real NFL, you see a lot more consistency. In Madden, you see a lot of spurs, uh, a spur of the moment type play calls and money plays and uh, this whole theme of a money play and, and what we're going to try to do with these guides is give you manuals give you uh, walkthroughs on how to really systematically win uh, a game of Madden 16 so um, with that in mind today we're in the St. Louis Rams offensive book and I want to show you a play from the trips and we're going to show it to you if I can find it tray open offset and the play is Y corner. Now, uh, the reason I want to show you this play is because we're going to utilize it in combination with a couple of other things. And that's what I want to talk about first. So, I was watching the Madden uh, Invitational, uh, and one of the things that I noticed, I was watching the game between T-Raw and Hoss Shucks. If you guys haven't seen that, if you head over to Twitch and you go to the easports.com Twitch page, you can find that archived under their profile. But what I was noticing was there was a lot, of, a lot of similarities in in schematics because a lot of people were running inside zone, uh, and then with a couple of play, with a couple of vertical uh, type patterns, and then a couple of other little things mixed in between. Uh, and what I found was that a lot of people really didn't have a ton of great routes to beat man-to-man -man coverage. And uh, for me, that is uh, kind of weird considering how effective two men under is this year. Um, however, I do find myself struggling. I don't call enough two men under because I, I'm kind of one of those players that really wants to kind of trick you and, and wants to play a little chess match with you. But there is something to be said about calling two men under this year. And so uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you a couple of things that you can utilize off of an inside zone inside zone based running scheme. So what we want to first note is that our quick audible down is the inside zone. And if they're in a formation like a dime or quarter, what I really, really would suggest you doing is checking down to the inside zone. The reason that I think this is so important is because it's going to consistently get you positive yards, especially against formations like this where it's only a five-man box. Now, in a situation, what you're going to find them going to start doing is you'll start facing something like this. You know, you'll start facing you know something like this, and they'll kind of bring guys in. And this is kind of a blueprint for stopping this because they're just going to load up the box and play a numbers game, and you're going to get tackled. Even though you're still getting five yards, you're, you know, you're normally, this is just kind of a, a really basic generalization here. So as they uh, do this and kind of slow your inside zone game down, watch what it opens up. As you see here on the outside, we have a corner out to our tight end. And so if we just drop back and throw that corner out with a high pass lead, you see we're going to have an advantage to hitting uh, Tyler Eifert here. Now the next thing I want to show you is another thing that I like to do with this play and uh, what I like to do here is basically just turn this into uh, a standard smash type concept and so what we like to do is we like to take this guy uh, Muhammad Sanu and we're gonna place him on either a slant pattern or a drag pattern just a basic crossing pattern 
and we're going to motion him in two steps once he snap, and then we're going to snap. Now this is going to create a natural pick and rub, and uh, we talk a lot about natural picks and rubs. And the importance of it is, is what it really is is you're going to use your formation to basically when the defenders are covering them in man coverage, you want them to run into each other because it's going to slow them down and give your receiver the where where he needs to be. As you see here, Tyler Eifert is just running his route, but you see how. Uh, the guy guarding Muhammad Sanu gets kind of caught, and watch what happens. It's going to give Sanu a clean release to be able to catch the football against two men under coverage. That's why we do this little motion in. Against press man, it's very effective uh, for getting Muhammad Sanu open. Another thing that you would like to probably do in this situation is have receivers with high route running. Like I said, you're just going to motion him in a couple steps. and You want to play with the motion, kind of learn the ins and outs of it. But from my experience, a drag is probably the best. I'll show you the slant real quick here. Um, the slant route is a little bit different in the way that it works. Um, as you see, he kind of plays it a little better. And H. M. McCarron made an awful throw there. But uh, he kind of plays it just a little bit better. You get a little more separation, but I'm just telling you from experience, they're going to play the slant a little bit better. Um, here you see he kind of plays it like glue there. Ends up getting a bat pass uh, or a batted pass animation. So just understand that. Now that's their hot routes. That's all we're going to really utilize from a hot routes perspective on this route. And we're just going to do that motion. Now here's the reads. The first read is out of the backfield. Simple read, Gio Bernard. If they're in man coverage, typically I won't throw this route to Gio Bernard. Uh, it's mainly simply a zone read, but I want to show you that you can complete it. If they're in man coverage, you just want to step up in the pocket and wait till he cuts to the outside. Have a good back like Giovanni Bernard. In Madden Ultimate Team, I recommend Theo Riddick. Uh, he's another good back for you to utilize. But, um, but yeah, those are those two quick reads that you're going to have. And then it's going to take a little time here, but you're going to be able to get this corner out as it releases, as it releases to the corner. Uh, if you have a good tight end, the Bengals have Tyler Eifert. Um, you know, but if you have like a pretty solid tight end, I recommend Max Williams roar to the playoff and Madden Ultimate Team. He's going to be able to get that separation to the corner. Now, let me show you what happens here. If he doesn't get that separation... So if it's just one-on-one -on -one between him and the corner, you want to kind of give your tight end an advantage because he's got a height advantage. Here he doesn't win, so I'm going to go to the aggressive catch, give my tight end a chance to catch the football. Here we're going to show you what happens. Obviously, we don't go ahead and make that catch, but we're going to use a high pass lead to get that ball out. And Tyler Eifert's going to have one-on-one -on -one opportunity here. That's only my receiver can catch that football. Only my receiver can catch that football. That's kind of the key. Uh, it's all, and in my opinion, a good scheme in Madden is all about protecting the football, being able to move consistently uh, with you know with really really good uh, formation balance. And then second, this uh, this final read here is AJ Green. As you see, he's going to cross. Uh, he's just going to cross over the middle. And, and then the final read here is this deep post. Now, this deep post is important. Uh, it's that I just threw that right there like it was Madden 15. No pass lead, no nothing. What you want to do with the deep post route is you want to use a high pass lead. Um, so steps up, steps up, high pass lead, and then you're going to aggressive catch it. Now, you only want to do this in one-on-one -on -one situations. Against two men under, it's kind of a, uh, a last resort, if you will. But here's where you want to throw it and you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one kind of thing that you're going to get that top of the screen um, there we were double covered and so normally we would probably wouldn't throw that route but here you see there's that one-on-one -on -one, and that's what we're looking for let me show you what happened on that play there uh, that gave us a really really good separation when you get on one-on-one, -on -one, you're looking for matchups uh, if you can get one-on-ones in this year's game it's very important but here you see um, he's going to slip to come back down on the on the the double move, and Jones just Jones is him and, and and just leaves him in the dust here. Okay, so now that's not going to happen every time. The consistency of that's pretty bad, but again, you if you just bullet pass it, you see how they're able to run underneath it. You need that high pass lead if you're even going to throw this route, uh, and you only really want to throw this route late 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 like that where it's kind of coming over the middle so it's very sketchy route um, but this is just one of the plays we'll utilize to beat man the main thing I wanted to talk about is this natural pick and rub 
that we're able to do here. What you, what you're going to see here is just just a little bitty little, little just little little bitty nudge there, and it's going to give us that separation to get a crossing pattern open uh, for five to six yards. Uh, oh, and then one other final thing is I'll show you it with an in route. Again, it's not as good with in routes and slants. Um, but this is an in route, and you see the the corner jumps completely underneath it, uh, and and doesn't really show me any mercy. And then one other final trick here: if you put Sanu on a hitch route, and then you put AJ Green on a drag, you're going to create that same natural pick and rub. So just give AJ Green a little motion in, and there you see there's that natural pick and rub. Um, so you can do it from multiple players. I personally, for this play. I really like to do it with Sanu because it's going to set up some of the zone beating concepts that we're going to talk about. Um, but we're going to talk primarily how to use this play to beat zone coverage tom in tomorrow's video. So be sure to come back for that. Um, I mainly just wanted to show you a couple principles here. This is just one of the many plays we're going to utilize. Not every route on this play does a great job at beating two men under. But... Um, it's one of the plays we're going to be utilizing in this mini scheme. We're also going to show you stick. We're going to show you four verticals. We're going to show you PA read. And we showed you um, Y corner today. One other thing I wanted to show you is if you put Giovanni Bernard on a wheel pattern, it's going to make this a very interesting play. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to motion Bernard to the outside. I just want to show this real quick just to kind of get your minds thinking. Against man coverage, you're going to be able to hit this wheel pattern for a really big gain. As you can see there, very simple. Uh, gives them a nice one-on-one -on -one matchup with the safety. Now what it's also going to do is this. Your post route is now going to have a newfound, um, newfound ability to be wide open over here to the top. If McCarron can make a little better of a throw. So just be thinking about that um, as we go into tomorrow's discussion on zone defense. But this is just another key way you can beat man from this formation. Um, what I'm finding is very important in this year's game real quick before we get out of here is not necessarily the plays you call. And we f I seem to find this every year. It's not really all about the plays that you call. It's about, it's about your execution, number one. And number two, it's about your consistency. Being able to read the defense. Post-snap, in my opinion, is the most important attribute of any quarterback in the NFL and any user in Madden 16. So just be thinking about that as we go into our next video. But uh, guys, real quick, I just want to thank you for watching today's video. And if you have any questions about the plays or the reads that was discussed in today's video, please uh, drop a comment and I will answer your questions. Also, if you're looking to kind of prepare for the drop of our new eBooks, I would recommend um, buying either one or both of our latest ebooks and the reason I would do that is because we're gonna build off those principles and so um, you can check those guides out in the description and they're very inexpensive they're only ten dollars to buy so very easy purchase for you so you can check those guides out if you want if you don't I would recommend just continuing to stay up to date on our channel videos by hitting that subscribe button anyways guys thanks for your time I really appreciate it and we'll see you guys tomorrow uh, we'll show you how to utilize this